Praise the Lord, everyone. I'm Bishop Eric Kincaid Clark, and welcome to Megabytes. Today's focus comes to us from 2 Samuel chapter 3, verse 1, and it tells us that the house of Saul waxed weaker and weaker, but the house of David waxed stronger and stronger. Saul versus David. Saul represents what the Lord did. David represents what the Lord is going to do. Many times we cannot go into our future for not being willing to let go of our past. Saul was anointed by God to be the first king of Israel. He obeyed God for a season, but there came a time in his life where he began to disobey God and he lost the favor of God. And the Lord kept it moving. The Lord chose someone else to replace Saul and he told his prophet to go and anoint this young man. The Bible tells us that the prophet spent a lot of times crying, pleading with the Lord, upset about the fact that Saul had been rejected. And the Lord said to his prophet, how long are you going to weep over what I have rejected? There are certain things in our lives that God has simply brought an end to. He's turned the page on. He's brought closure to. And many times the enemy of what God wants to do is what he has already done. You must remember that the house of Saul waxed weaker and weaker, but the house of David waxed stronger and stronger. The house of Saul was a house of disobedience. It was a house of carnality and fleshly desires. But David represents that which is spiritual. David was a man given to praising and worshiping God with all of his might, with all of his heart. Don't give yourself to murmuring and complaining, and certainly don't give yourself to disobedience because that would represent the house of Saul. And that house got weaker and weaker. You want to be a part of the house of David, that place of praise and worshiping God even through your storm and your bad situations because that house will get stronger and stronger. One of the writings of David, I will bless the Lord at all times and his praises shall continually be in my mouth. I'm Bishop Eric Kincaid Clark and this has been your Megabyte.